Today's educational game that I will play for the Ogewon TV channel is a fun chemistry game about the metalloid and poor metal elements from the periodic table. Here is the exercise. I have to sort the elements where they should appear in the periodic table and those are metalloids and poor metals. If I do this correctly, I will be able to open the door to see some interesting chemistry phenomenon. known. So, I will begin with the first one, that is the first metal in the periodic table on row 2, this is the boron used in sport equipment and not present in the human body. The boron has five electrons. Like uh, I mentioned, we are looking at the electrons of the element which should be equal to the protons of that element's atom, but not in all cases. Now the next I'm, so this is a typical metalloid element and I'm going to row 3 where the first metalloid element it is actually a poor metal and this should be aluminium where are you? there it is with a number of 13 that is the aluminium has 13 electrons in the atom And it is a poor metal, used in airplanes and not present in the human body. The next element from the, the next metalloid element from the periodic table is the silicon <laughs> with a number of 14. Natural appearance in sand and stones and the silicon is not present in the human body except when we are at a vacation at the sea and we eat some sand from the next wave <laughs> or something like that I was thinking about and now I think it's time to use the hint where I want to sort that first elements on the row to help myself in completing this task is the indium and the thallium. So I think these are the elements that I need. The hint will expire soon, so I'm going to the gallium, which is the first uh, poor metal in the fourth row of the periodic table. Now I noticed recently that four from the transition metals are classified now as uh, poor metals. I don't know why things in chemistry change in five years, changed in five years, but uh, change is uh, part of life. Especially in informational technology, we know now those that have grown with it that uh, things are always changing. The bad thing is it is not uh, necessary to evolve, but it is necessary to change. And I think this is some economical phenomenon that we will look in the economic videos. Now back to chemistry. These are, this is gallium. Okay, this is element 31. On the periodic table. Gallium is used in light emitting diodes like lead and it is not present in the human body. The next element should be 32 and this is germanium. My favorite element, I knew it is there. It is used in electronics and especially in computers. 
it is not present in the human body, but it is present in our computers. Hey computer! <laughs> okay, next element. This is arsenic. Element number 33. Very dangerous element. And it is poisonous. The interesting thing is that it is a metalloid element. So, the germanium and the arsenic are metalloid elements, while the gallium is a poor metal. Okay, now we know it may become liquid because there are some solid elements that dissolve in liquid solutions. And I'm going on row 5. And the first element, which is a poor metal, from the fifth row of the periodic table is the indium, with 49, 49 electrons. The next one is 50, the tin, thin, used in food cans and not present in the human body. Thin is actually pretty spread element in the everyday life. So now I have to find the 51st element, element from the periodic table and it is a typical metalloid. The tin is a poor metal, metalloid used in car batteries and it's not present in the human body. If you are looking for antimony, you can find one in a car battery. But I don't advise this. <laughs> so now I'm searching for the element 52. And that is tellurium with 52 electrons used in thermoelectric coolers, not present in the human body. So I think tellurium can be found in the refrigerators, maybe. It is a typical metalloid element. And I'm going to the sixth row of the periodic table, where the first element from the poor metals is the thallium. Okay, with 81 electrons, it is used in low temperature thermometers not present in the human body. I also can see that thallium is used in creating sunglasses. Don't know why, but it is probably true. It is a poor metal and I'm looking for element for the lead. Another pretty spread in everyday life. Used in weights, in fishing and it's not present in the human body the lead. It is also a poor metal, so now I think I can see that poor metals are not attracted by magnets. But uh, if aluminum is poor metal, is it not attracted by magnets? Also, its state is solid. Uh, well, it is solid, right. Here we, we have from the previous video, the non-metal and Later I'm looking at the next of metal, of the elements in the periodic table. But now let me complete that cipher. <laughs> this should be the cipher to unlock this door, right? That's the fun of it. To have some mystery. <laughs> okay, element 83. This is the bismuth used in fire sprinkles and it's not present in the human body with 83 electrons it is state its natural state is solid and the, the element 84 four, yes that is the polonium the polonium now it leads to the radioactive elements but it is used in antistatic brushes how interesting is that? And it should be a metal with elements. And so those the the grey ones are the poor metals 
and the brown ones are the metalloid metals, metalloid elements. Okay, I think that cipher is set. Now I can try to unlock the secret door. And what I got, I got another scroll plus a new knowledge level. Uh, let's see what the scroll states. Chemical facts one. If you pour a handful of salt in a full glass of water, the water level will actually go down rather than overflow the glass. Where's the G? <laughs> that is interesting knowledge. So this is the educational dosage for today. I hope it have been fun and until new meetings.